Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to you. I hope you get a chance to enjoy, have a feast, maybe watch some football games, whatever sports, whatever traditions that you have, playing some board games, maybe enjoying baked goods from your auntie, hearing corny jokes from your uncle, uh, whatever that may be. Even you know celebrating with, with your cousins, your relatives, how big your family is, how small your family is. I still hope that that you could kind of enjoy and cherish this moment of festivity because I definitely feel it. And yeah, I just genuinely hope that you guys are able to kind of take a moment、uh, out of your chaotic life and feel that appreciation because after all, what is what is it all for?、Um, just reminding yourself what is truly important. And yeah, I, I recently got a chance to、uh, go out on dinner with my brother, and I introduced him to this、uh, this street food. And it was absolutely delicious. He would he 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 put it in his top top three, like top one, and I was really happy, just、uh, enjoying food, catching up.、Um, And I hope you guys also enjoyed, you know, cherish the moments like those. And I also wanted to talk about the twelve month challenge. For those who don't know, I talked about this on the stream, but it, I'm making a video just so that people who are interested or newcomers、um, can see what it's all about and feel free to join as well. And earlier today, I also got a mail package from Allway.、Uh, I have a little humidifier, but it's super super crusty. They、uh, were kind enough to send a smart humidifier speaker, and so <laughs> I don't really know what to expect.、Um, I just know that I, I saw my name. I was like、uh, on the on the package, and I was like, "Whoa, this is super sick!" Well, I don't know what it was, but it's a smart humidifier speaker, and thus let's open it, shall we? And you guys will most likely see this in the background. And the reason why I got a humidifier is mainly because I have asthma, and sometimes it's just really, really hard、um, the congestion and wheezing. And I'm not sure if it's placebo. I've talked about this before, but whenever I use a humidifier, it really does make me feel a little bit better. It makes kind of like my airway better. Oh my gosh, the packaging is super cool, and here is the smart humidifier, and I believe is it 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 also said it's a speaker. This is how it looks like. Wow, it really makes me feel like a what's it called like an old radio that you see in movies. You know, like there's a grandpa and he's、uh, on kind of like a bobbing chair, and then he has one of these in the back. But super slick, and I'm assuming this is where the the steam is gonna come out. And I don't think this one's gonna be crusty, because I remember I got that.、Oh. Okay, yeah. So this is where the water goes in. I'm assuming, and then this is the cap. And then we also have a little a little charger over here. So you'll be seeing this in the back of the streams. Thanks, Ali. And the next thing I want to share is the twelve month challenge. Shall we get into it? Boom. So this is our hero growth commitment. I I don't really know what to call this, so I'll just call it the twelve month hero plan. And so、uh, another update is that because my schedule is. Constantly changing because every quarter I have new classes. I won't be. I'm going to be as consistent as I can. But please, I hope you guys <laughs> give me the chance to. I'm just being flexible, just understanding. And I know, you know, on this platform, consistency is the most important key,、uh, especially time-wise. So it doesn't, you know, if if people. Or cannot、uh, do that, then it's totally fine as well. But I'll still try my best to 
continue to be consistent, but I'm not sure exactly how long the streams are going to be. I'm also working on different projects that I'll share more down the pipeline, but this is something that I want to allocate a lot of my time into, which is the hero growth commitment. January, we're going to be journaling for 30 days. On February, we're going to be meditating for 30 days for 60 minutes. March, 100 pull-ups for 30 days. And I know that, you know, this sounds like a little too much. And that's one of the reasons why I want to take this challenge because how do you really know if what your character or who you are unless you push your boundaries? And thus, I feel like doing these tasks i've i've done challenges like these before it will kind of allow me to better understand myself that's a big reason why and if you can't do 100 push up pull ups you know it's completely okay you could just do maybe even 10 or 5 or even one each day but it's all about the importance of you know that habit stacking starting with small changes and i just want to replicate that process across uh, different months and then on April, we're doing cold showers for 30 days. On May, 100 push-ups for 30 days. On June, I'm going to be learning a language for 30 days. July, no sugar for 30 days. So for all you sugar tooth out there, this is going to be a real challenging one. And for me too, because I love, I love sweet stuff. August, uh, taking a picture for 30 days. September, drawing for 30 days. We've kind of also tried this out uh, within Discord in our creative circle. And then on October, writing for 30 days, going to be writing uh, blog pieces. On November, Murphy for 30 days. So this, the Murphy includes doing two miles. It also includes, I believe, I believe 100 push-ups. Let me actually look up the exact Murphy challenge. I've done it once before and oh my goodness, this was, <laughs> it was really hard. So it's a, one mile run, 100, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats, and then one mile run. And then we'll be ending with running 10 miles every day. I'm not really sure if this is even viable. Currently, I'm running three miles, and that's even a lot. There's a lot of procrastination that I need to overcome. So this will really, you know, see what I'm about. <laughs> but yeah, uh, by the end, I really want to run the marathon and really... Um, overcome kind of like that mind uh, that thought in my mind just because i have asthma i can't run the marathon and you know even if i not if i may be physically inadequate i still want to try and again the reasoning why to push beyond my comfort and learn more about myself i guess this whole kind of channel kind of started based upon that that premise to teach myself discipline and for the past like you know maybe seven months now i i feel like i've kind of lost that i have some challenges with relapsing with the addiction that i don't really you know <laughs> talk too much about because it's a it's a journey that i want to conquer and then share the no the the know-hows but you know, i'm just as susceptible to making mistakes to going back into relapses and i just want to hold myself more accountable to it also, for the community, give your life meaning by lifting a load. Uh, I, I guess <laughs> there's a guy. Um, I can't. I can't uh, think about the the story. Um, is it Sisyphus? Maybe it's Sisyphus. Where in ancient mythology, Greek mythology, there was this guy who was um, who had a sentence of being in perpetual hell. Of whenever he carried a rock behind this kind of back he could climb up to the to the summit and then he would have to restart that cycle over and over again and kind of what i guess like you could derive meaning from that from carrying a load you could repeat 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 and i guess this is my own interpretation but you find meaning in that doing something that is challenging um and then for incentive for you guys i know i don't have like a lot <laughs> at the moment i'm still a, a student and also working on uh, working on uh, <laughs> business, I still want to uh, provide something. So I'll put down a hundred dollars to anyone who makes it to the end, documenting proof that you've done it each month, either in a diary log or video. And so <laughs> I guess we'll be if there's a lot a large pool that is participating, then we'll have to kind of do a poll vote. Um, but yeah, this is what I, I could afford. I mean, 
<laughs> I'd love to do bigger pool sizes, but I hope this uh, is an, still an incentive. But again, like the premise is, you know, to better understand ourselves. That's the reason why. But I thought having an incentive will maybe, you know, motivate <laughs> you guys to also join in in the fun. And yeah, that's kind of like the whole video. Um, be back on the webcam. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you guys for just the wonderful talks we had uh, in the breaks. It's you guys really do shape and influence me a lot, whether you guys know it or not. And I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season and a strong year ahead. And yeah, I guess I guess that's it. Uh, you guys are seeing me mature, and I hope also you guys. Uh, I thank you guys for allowing me to embark upon your journeys, but always recognize you don't don't compare yourself with me or others, but always compare yourself with who you are from yesterday. I could kind of see, you know, if um, if a little kid me was watching myself, then I might say like, okay, um, I don't think I'm I would be able to. Like I'm in a spot where I need to take baby steps, and thus it's I applaud you for being willing to change and you need to take baby steps and just looking back like at what you do today and then the next day look at what you did yesterday and it's like a little cookie uh, mr goggins talks about this where he has a cookie jar of doing hard things and then he kind of stacks it up never forgets it but yeah i hope i hope you guys you know don't have um don't feel, I guess, like daunted by this challenge, but kind of view it more as of an inspiration. It's like, okay, if, uh, if Wujin can do this, I think I want to try this. I want to embark on this thing or this. But also you have to be aware of like uh, not allowing my desires to determine yours. Really uh, ask yourself like what you want to do. But I was, I just wanted to share kind of why the reasoning why I wanted to do it. And if this compels you, if this intrigues you, feel free to join on. And I'd love to hear your journey as well along the way. But yeah, that's, that's a whole video. Hope you guys enjoy time with your loved ones. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. All right. Take care. Peace.